guys, it's Grace, and today I'm going to be doing my empties, and I don't really have that many, so I'm also going to be doing some reviews on them as well, but um, just like an update, um, I'm going to be... uploading videos on Sundays and now Wednesdays and I know I haven't really been sticking to like Sundays and stuff I'm really sorry I was just like really busy and I like filmed a video but I didn't really like it and I didn't know what to film but I finally got enough empties to film this video so yeah so just I'm keeping my empties in this bag from 31 but I have one thing outside of it so this is the bedhead by Teiji hold hairspray and I really enjoyed this hairspray actually um, I actually, I'm using the Aussie one, and I don't really like that one as much because it's like a flexible hold. This one's really great for like a really hard hold, and your hair will not go anywhere. Literally, my curls last like two or three days with this, and with the Aussie one, they barely last me the day. So I really recommend this one even though it's kind of expensive, but yeah, I really liked this one. I mean, it's from Walmart, by the way. Okay, let me just take this off. So the first two things are makeup remover wipes. Um, so I have these ones by e.l.f. And they are the makeup remover cleansing cloths. And they were $3 from Target, but now they don't sell them at Target anymore. Like, I liked them, but they don't sell them anymore. And then I used the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing ones. And these were like $6. These were 3 And you only get five more in here. And then right now I'm using the Target ones. I don't really care what makeup remover wipes I use because they're basically do the same thing and yeah, I don't really, it's not a big deal to me. Okay, so this is a nail product. So these are the like Essie um, nail things and I also have the Sally Hansen ones and I like those a whole lot better than these. These ones are really hard to like get to stay on your nail and like stick and like fit your nail like the Sally Hansen ones were a lot thinner so they kind of just like went on your nail perfectly and I really like those these don't really like and they're not like totally empty but I don't put them on my toes so I have this Maybelline expert eyes makeup remover and I really liked this I mean I used it up um I think I have like an issue with makeup remover though because I used I'm using right now the Mary Kay Oil Free Makeup Remover, and this is oil free. But whenever I put on my eyes, it feels really oily, and then like my eyes get really irritated by them. So I think I might have like an allergic reaction to it or something. I'm not really sure, but I liked it, and it's pretty good. So for shampoo and conditioner, I have this Dove Oxygen Moisture Conditioner and shampoo, but I don't know where the shampoo went. Um, these are just little samples from Walgreens. Um, I really didn't care for this just because my hair is really thick and like voluminous and this really volumized your hair so if you have really flat hair it's going to work really well for you but it kind of made my hair look really really like poofy and I so then another product that I used up is a face product um or skincare this is the clean and clear night relaxing deep cleansing face wash and I use this in the morning and night and it's lasted me <clears throat> probably about six months um it doesn't really like help me wind down or anything but even though there's still some left it doesn't have any of the beads in them like this one has beads in it and this one doesn't well they're not beads but whatever but it, it like doesn't have beads in them and so I don't really like using this one I just prefer to use this one or the Neutrogena makeup remover one which I've been using a lot lately two products are moisturizers the first thing is the Sephora instant moisturizer and I loved this moisturizer it was so good. This is just like the 100 point per. So I really, really, really like this one though. I really recommend it. Um, I'm not really sure how much it costs though because this is just like 100 point perk. But I really enjoyed this. And if you're, if I had to recommend a moisturizer, it, this is the Mary Kay Intense Moisturizing Cream. This is a really thick moisturizer, so I only use it at night. But I would also use it if I had like really bad problem areas, like on my nose. This works really well. Um. Then the next product is this Olay Swirled Mattifier, Redness and Pore Reducing Mattifier. And this is just like a sample of it from a magazine. I used it about twice. But the first time I used this, I don't know why, but it literally made my whole face sparkly. I didn't see any differences with this um, in my makeup. 
So, I'm not going to purchase The next mask here is the Benefit They're Real. And I kind of have a little bit left of this, but, like, the label was wearing off. I think this is a pretty good mascara, but, as you can see, the brush. But the thing I didn't like about this mascara is when you put it close to your lashes, it really hurts because it's a rubber bristle. And I really, like, it bothered me because of that. But I think it's, like, really good to get your outer corner lashes, bottom lashes, upper lashes. It has a really nice brush that's at a slight angle. And so I really liked this brush, but, like, the formula, but the whole, like, rubberized bristle. It's kind of expensive. Um, I don't think I'm repurchasing this. Um, maybe I would repurchase, like, the sample size of it, like, this size, because the full size is kind of expensive. The last product is the Sephora Full Action Effect Mascara. I really, really liked this mascara, and it was super volumizing and lengthening, and it didn't clump my lashes. Um, as you can see, the wand... I really, really liked this wand. It was super, like, it was just made. And, like, the all of these mascara formulas are pretty, like, wet because I don't like dry formulated mascaras. But I definitely think that I will be repurchasing this one next time I go to Sephora. And I think it was only $22, which is actually pretty good. But I have a lot of mascaras to go through, so once I go through those, I want to try the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And I want to repurchase this because I really like this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment any requests down below. Bye!